was recently asked, can you do a headshot using a limo light unit? And this is a limo light unit. There are actually other brands that are very similar. And this particular light unit is an LED, very small head on here, as you can see. So I was curious myself. But mostly, these light units are used for like light tent photography, where you shine the light right through the tent for your small products. Or we've used them on location. My wife had used them to work on jewelry. And sometimes I use them if I'm working on camera equipment or if I want to count pixels, I use this light. But let's look at this. I was curious. So it was kind of late and I wanted to try it to see what kind of results we could get. So I was the only one available to model. So I volunteered. I put on a clean shirt and I'm easy to get along with. I don't complain much about modeling or, uh, you know, don't have to, I don't pay myself much for modeling. But anyway, I wanted to see what results I could get. Normally in my camera room, I'll use a large softbox, about 38 by 40 inches. And sometimes if I'm doing these on location and I don't take along the softbox, an umbrella is easier to travel with. So I use a silver umbrella. So I wanted to see what kind of results I would get if I mounted this onto an umbrella. So as you can see here, I have a, this is actually a translucent umbrella, but I mounted the light onto here. So I'm going to use it as a bounce. So I'm going to bounce the light back. It's more of a softer effect. So let's take a look at the photographs that we got from that. Before we clamp the light onto the translucent umbrella, let's take a look at the results that we get by using this light unit just as it is. In this first photograph here, I had the light placed about 90 degrees from the camera and it's giving us a nice side lighting effect. And you can see the harshness of this light. Now we don't have any fill light. This is just that one light. And on the next one here, I added a kicker light. I put a second LED light on the, if you're looking at the image, left hand corner up on top, just adding a little bit more light, which is going to give us a little bit more dimension in the photograph. So this type of lighting can be very useful if you want to do something dramatic, or you can even give this sometimes, you can use this for like a nice little artsy thing, make some nice black and whites out of it, brown tone perhaps. And then I move the light just as it was a little bit towards the front more, maybe about 45 degrees or more. As you can see, the light is very, very harsh. So next we're going to put the light into the translucent umbrella. And I'm going to position the light again about 90 degrees. So it's coming in from the side. And here I'm doing a profile portrait. As you can see here, this is a little bit softer. So we have the light bounced into an umbrella and I still have the kicker light that's coming in from our top left. Interesting black and whites. So normally if I'm doing a headshot, I'll position my main light about 45 degrees or so, like we see here. And here again, I'm just using that one light bounced into the umbrella. And watch what happens again if I add that kicker light. So I'll turn the kicker light on. And you can see a little bit of light coming in on our left side, just adding a little bit more dimension to the photograph. So this is without a fill, it's just one light in the umbrella and a kicker light coming in from our top left. Now the one thing I want to point out also, when you use this type of light and you're bouncing it into an umbrella, or if you want to shoot through a softbox, you're going to be losing some of the power. So in this particular case here, with a profile portrait, the light was rather dim compared to what I normally use, which resulted in a slower shutter speed. I had to use 1 25th of a second, and the opening was f4.5 on my lens, and my ISO is set to 1000 here. So you want to be careful at a 25th of a second, you more than likely want to use a tripod and you want to be careful that the person that you're photographing doesn't move around a whole lot because then you're going to get subject movement at a 25th of a second. 
And then when I move the umbrella around towards the front, so the aperture here is still f4.5 with a shutter speed set to a 25th of a second and the ISO set to 1000. So yes, you could certainly use these lights for doing a headshot, but like I said, there's better ways. I prefer the umbrella or softbox. And these Lima lights certainly have their advantages when using them for light tent photography. If you want to check them out, the Lima lights are a little bit hard now to get a hold of on Amazon, but I did put a link to a similar light, which is almost identical. It may be a different name but it has the same output and the same design. But they're very, very good in what they were designed for. And that was light tent photography. Thank you very much.